in this video today we're going to talk about how we can do unit testing within the Business Work Studio. And so, first thing you need to do is have some sort of project. In this case, I just use a sample project that's available within your applications folder. Um, so I'm going to, because I don't, um, the end goal is for me to be able to deploy this into a container, either being Docker or some other type. Um, I'm going to just you know, choose the sample for Docker. So uh, Docker, and it was the binding rest bookstore. And you can just import that into your actual studio itself. So once you actually have your project there, um, you'll be able to see a few things. If you just open it up, you'll see the processes, resources, and such. Um, a few things you need to set up in order for this to work. Um, it's actually in the readme file, so if that's easier, you can just read that. But the most important thing is to make sure that you have within your resources, um, you actually have a Postgres database with the right credentials to actually access um, it. So uh, you need to set the username, password, and such. There'll be some values here, but you won't be able to use those as they're just examples. Um, so you just need to actually set your URL, username, and password for that. Um, use Postgres because that's already built in within the studio itself, so you don't have to install anything. And um, you'll want to test the connection. So you want to make sure that it's, you're able to successfully connect here. And then also, if you go here to properties, um, make sure you have uh, set that as the default. So if you click on it, set as default um, to make sure that it actually uses the that uh, database. But if you have everything set up for that, then you can use uh, this bookstore sample, no problem. So once you have all that, first thing you need to do for unit testing is uh, we're going to use the books processes. So we're going to be working with this. Um, first thing is you'll need a test folder. So I already have one here, but to create one, it's just a matter of right-clicking um, new test folders, and I'll generate it. So once you have it, if you right-click it and do new add test file, uh, this will allow you to select a name for the test file and folder. Just keep it the same how it is. And you want to select what processes are available for this test file. So because we're only working with books, we're just going to select the books processes and hit finish. And you'll see that there actually now is a file there. Um, and you'll now be able to basically create test um, assertions and such within this actual processes to try them out. So um, what we actually need to do is within one of these activities, so within this add book activity, I'm just going to right click it and add an assertion. And this is how we're actually going to create our test use cases. And you know that activity has an assertion. If you see this little green uh, circle, the mostly little red T above it as well, next to it, that's so you know how an assertion has been added. To actually configure this, you click on the activity, and they'll be uh, within the properties. They'll actually be test. And you'll be able to uh, set basically what the test is. So in this case, um, what you'll need to do is uh, you have the choice between setting the assert type to some sort of string Boolean function. Um, in order to make this into a string, what you do is you say, okay, I'm going to want to do a test on ISBN. So if I just drag and drop that onto there, it'll ask me, okay, do you want to map it onto a string? I'm going to say yes. And it's going to allow me to put in those string values. So once again, I'm going to map that. Set the filter to 1. And then the uh, input, so this is the input value you're going to want to test. Uh, we're just going to enter that. <coughs> so now um, we have the assertion test. Well, if you want to make sure that you actually did everything correctly, what you do is that um, within the process, if you go to the properties of it, you should see a test. And you should be able to see the available tests and the activities. And in this case, add books is there. So if it's not there, then something may be wrong. Um, so you just want to make sure that Notice if I click outside of the process, it's not there. Um, but if I need to click within the actual process itself. So uh, just click around, make sure that the actual test shows up there with the activity. So once you do that, now we can actually go into debugging. So if, uh, if you set up everything correctly, you should be able to uh, go in and uh, just hit debug on the project. This is, um, Assuming that you have all your database and all that already set up, like I said, um, if you don't have connectivity to that, then uh, obviously it's not going to work. Um, so you're going to get up the, the debug screen. Uh, you'll be able to, if you want to see what the actual URL or yeah, the, what the URL is, actually access to Swagger doc. It's LRES doc. L-R-E-S-T-O-C. 
Um, so that's the URL. We'll go to that in a second. But the first thing you need to do is click on Business Works Jobs, click on Assertions, uh, click on the actual assertion itself so that we built. And you'll, you should see at the Add Books assertion there. And you're just going to click on this little folder with an arrow within. This is how you upload the test file. So I'm going to upload that. So now when I actually test this out, I should be able, depending if it fails or if it does not, I should be able to, this should tell me um, if it was successful or not. So I just copy this, go to my web browser, and it's going to be a post. And so the ISBN we used was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so I'm going to do the same. Try it out. Uh, I get a success here. If I go back and I click on the actual um, assertion itself, you'll see that it passed. So basically it's saying, okay, uh, your test your test case is successful. Um, whatever that ISBN that we put as the test case uh, it came in and it actually was correct. But if you want to, let me just show you how it would look if it uh, was not successful or if it wasn't going to pass. So I'm going to set it in a different ISBN, so just one, two, three, four, five, six. You try that out. Notice how this is uh, just going on. So it looks like it gives the appearance of hanging. But if you notice here, you click here, um, there's actually a failure. So, and the reason because of that is that, and if you click on the actual uh, books, notice the first one completed, the second one is suspended. It's because the test case wasn't. Uh, Fulfilled. The test case was that the ISBN value is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but we entered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you wanted to see that, um, you can see here that it faulted. You check the job data, and uh, you can see that, okay, the input and the fault, and such different things like that. So um, now we know, okay, ISBN wasn't correct. Uh, that's where the test use case is. That also causes the job to suspend. So what we want to do is just we want to stop the job. Um, because we know that it's never going to complete. We just want to cancel it. Um, and so if we notice, if we go back here, that little thing goes away and we get an error because there's no reply due to the test use case. So it's a, it's a good way to see, okay, if I have a certain ISBN number, if I just want to test to make sure everything works right, um, I just set that. And if, I, if it works, I'll get a complete. If it doesn't, I'll get a failure. And um, I'll just suspend the job as well. So I just need to stop that. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, we're actually going to look into how we can use our open source Maven plugin to automize or autonomize this. So right now we're just doing everything manually, but let's say if you want to set some sort of build processes off, um, in order to have to click and do everything manually, it's just a matter of setting it up and just let it go running. So that will be the next video. Thank you.